I found the craziest thing you can do with your face cam or anything else in your stream and that is moving it around for example in your face cam if you were full screen just like this and you wanted to go to your gameplay scene all you'd have to do is just click one button to make it zoom out or zoom back in to go to your gameplay scene or full face cam scene I'm Scott for plays and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do just this Now making your webcam move while doing this looks really cool, but what makes it look even cooler is if you have some professional borders and overlays with it. And that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in. Own.tv is a great place for you to pick up anything you need for your stream, such as face cam borders, alerts, transitions, and more. They also have many different bundles where you can pick up all these together. One of my favorite packages is their modern series packages because it comes with anything you might need for a stream, such as your Twitch profile all set up, four different webcam overlays, unique alerts, transitions, and more. If you need Twitch sub badges or emotes, they also have you covered with their many different options you can choose from. One of them that I really like is also one that you can make your own personal image of yourself, cartoon image, and make it an emote for your Twitch channel. If you want to pick something up, the link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Now, in order to do all these crazy effects, you must be on OBS Studios. Unfortunately, Streamlabs OBS does not support this right now. What you're going to want to do is go to the link in my description called motion effects. Go ahead and download the motion effect zip file. Once you click on it, it should download it in the bottom left corner. Then you're going to need to find out where OBS Studios is installed. Exit out of that and then go right click on OBS Studios on your desktop. Go to properties and right here it will say where it is installed. It should be probably program files. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go open up a file. Go ahead and go to windows program files. And OBS Studios. This is where most of yours will be located. Open that up. And then now what you're going to want to do is open up another file location. And then this will be where your motion effects are installed. You can go to your downloads, double tap motion effect. And here you'll see data and OBS plugins and the same thing on the other side, plus bin and maybe some extra stuff. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go highlight data and OBS plugins, drop it into OBS Studios, replace the files in the destination, and then you're all set to go. Okay, so you're going to want to open up OBS Studios, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to add your face cam to a separate scene. You cannot add it to your main gameplay scene. What you're going to have to do is make a new scene, and when I click on this, it's going to bring up my face cam and my overlays. What you're going to want to do is you're going to have to place everything you want related to your face cam and overlays and everything you want to move into one scene. So that when you go back to your gameplay scene, you can go ahead and go to the plus sign, add a scene. Go down to your face cam scene, which for me is called scene two. I'm gonna press OK. And here we are. Now my face cam and everything connected with it is added just like that. You're gonna to wanna to position it the way you want, and boom, you've successfully added your face cam properly so that the motion will work. Now, in order to add the motion, what you're gonna to need to do is right click on the scene three, which for me is my main gameplay scene. Right click on that, go to filters plus sign and add a motion filter. This option will only show up if you install the files correctly in the first part of the video. Now the source you're going to want to be able to move the scene to, which once again is my face cam scene because that's the thing that you want to move. The hotkey round trip is going to be when you press the number or whatever you want on your keyboard, it will go zoom in and then you press it again, it will zoom out. Variation type, we're going to want to do position and size because we're going to be zooming it in and changing the position and size. For the custom start setting, you're going to check that box and you're going to want to fill in where the X and Y coordinates of this is. You can find that out by right clicking on scene 2, go up to transform and go to edit transform. It will bring up the position and size and you can just copy and paste those right in. Okay, and the next thing is motion path. Just to keep it simple, I'm gonna choose linear. However, if you wanna go quadratic B0 curve and cubic B0 curve, it adds a little uh, extra curve to the motion, but linear, in my opinion, looks really good. So I'm gonna keep it at that. Now you're gonna to want to change the destination X and Y. So this is exactly where this will go. However, you don't need to mess with the destination X and Y if in scene two, your webcam is already centered, which I would recommend doing. So you see my webcam centered here. So when I go to scene three and I change the width and height to 1920 by 1080, which is my canvas resolution, and I go down here and press forward, it goes immediately to that position. If you want to change the dur uh, duration and acceleration, you can do that. But just to keep it simple, once again, I'm just going to just do this right here because I think it looks pretty good just like this. 
And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keybind this to one of your keys on your keyboard. So we're going to close out of that. We're going to go to settings and we're going to go to hotkeys. Now remember that we are on scene three. So I'm going to scroll down to scene three. Yeah, I know I got a lot of scenes here. It's, it's rough. But anyway, scene three. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the motion and the backward motion be the same key, which is this minus symbol. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I never hit that button. So it's a perfect button to use. Anyways, I'm going to press apply. So now what happens is when I click that button on my keyboard, it zooms in and zooms out. Now, some of you will realize that when I did this in the beginning of the video, it actually blurred my background. In order to blur your background, you're going to need to go to the link in my description called Stream Effects. Go to obsstreameffects.exe, download that, install it, at run it, and then it will automatically install the files to your OBS studios so that you don't have to mess with that like we did earlier. One quick thing that I forgot to record is that in order to make this work, you need to make it a duplicate of your main gameplay scene by right clicking on it and pressing duplicate. Once you press OK, that is good, but you need to make a new display capture. You cannot use the same one because otherwise you'll be blurring both of them. So remove the display capture from your duplicate, go up to display capture and add another display capture of the same exact scene and make sure that your webcam is on top. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to right click on display capture and go to filters add blur because we're going to blur this one and we're going to go ahead and use Gaussian blur because it's my personal favorite. Once we're done with that, we're going to need to go to settings and we're going to mess with the hotkeys now so that it will switch to the blurry scene as it's moving. What that means here is we have to go scroll down to scene five, which is the blurry scene for me. We're going to have to make this the button that makes it blurry and move at the same time. So that when we hit apply here, when I hit the minus, it zooms in and when I hit the plus, it goes back just like that. Now you'll notice that it cuts immediately. If you guys want to add special transitions to this, such as a transition override and go to fade, transition override, go to fade. And then once you go to fade, it will just fade and blur just like that. Now there are countless things you can do with this motion. You can make anything you want to move around the screen as much as you want. And it's, it's actually just so fun to play around with it and see what you guys can do. Um, if you want to send me some videos of you doing stuff like this, tweet at me, Scarf for Plays. I will love to respond to you, follow you on Twitter maybe. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to check out my other YouTube videos. Subscribe, leave a like. Go ahead and check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Scarf for Plays. Yeah, just... You know, at the very least, like the video if it helped. See you guys later.